in the last episode, I showed you a couple of ways on how to complete win three matches in a row using legendary weapons only. No pets and no gadgets. Now, I've had a lot of questions about, hey, Echo, how do you complete the deathmatch score of getting 90,000 points? Now, it's pretty obvious you have to get 90,000 points, but there is a couple of ways on how you can do this and make your life so much easier. As I'm recording today's video, there's only 19 days left of this Pixel Pass, and we're going to complete this in today's video. Now, the good thing about completing this, but also getting your Pixel Pass complete as soon as possible, is that this chest is incredibly underrated. You can get so many currencies inside of here. Now, obviously, the chances of getting keys and gems is a lot less, if you've claimed a whole bunch of these skins, it will be increased. Now, I love to know your tips and tricks in the comment section. So if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to complete 90,000 score as the elite tier challenge, let me know in the comment section. We've got a lot to do in today's video because I'll show you guys real quick. So they brought back the Wheel of Fortune. It's only here for a limited time. I've got four spins. We're going to save that in today's video. Um, we will do the spins in this video a little bit later on. We have the path to triumph. Now, last time, I think I need to get a certain amount of kills. This time, I need to get wins. I think it's wins or play a certain amount of matches. Only here for four days. The reason why Pixel Gun are doing this is because we know their game is pretty much, well, not doing very well in numbers. And to keep players active, they're feeding us rewards. I also have the lucky board. I did save up 60 spins. And we have the task hub. And this is what I wanted to start off with in today's video. Is by doubling my keys and doubling something else that's on offer. The easiest keys you're going to get in this game. So I'm going to take that. Another one I did have is play checkmates. And I can double my rewards here. I'll take these because we are trying to complete the pixel pass. So claim... Let's double them. Now, like I said, if you're a free-to-play player, take full advantage of the daily tasks. This has got significantly better compared to what it was like. Now, I know you guys are going to say, hey, I could double your rewards. I'm not going to worry about these right now because I have plenty of them. I would usually double them, but I do need to watch a advert for gems and then the task hub is completed for another day unfortunately the developers don't like us doubling our gems so that's not on offer but you can double this we've been doing this a lot in the free to play episodes just keep doing it every single day now i'll be honest with you pixel gun 3d is not enjoyable once you hit level 50 you have to deal with all of the sweaty players level 60 1 2 3 4 5 players it's really difficult to compete I'll take the gems and I'll also take the upgrades as well because as we do start to rank up, the upgrades are going to be so important for me. I have this at 50. I'm currently level 52. I do have boosters. Again, we need to just keep ranking up as fast as possible here. So how do I complete the deathmatch score? Let me show you something. Now, this can actually be done inside of Knife Party. And you can get yourself a bot lobby. Now, we do have one ordinary player inside of here. Um, but what we're going to do is run down this clock until there's only like one minute left. If you leave a match, it's not just for this, by the way. It happens in any kind of matches. If you leave the match under one minute, so around about 50, 55 seconds, then what will happen is if you search for the map again, it will put you in a bot lobby. Now, you can actively do this like twice. What I mean is you can have the bot lobby to yourself for twice. This person's not happy because I'm basically stealing all their score. But they're doing the exact same as I'm doing. The problem we have right now in this mode is going to be the... I think it's the triple bites and some kind of overseer. If you know, you know. Those kind of players have been spamming like crazy. Like absolutely crazy. It's really hard to compete with them. That's what I'm saying. If you do encounter those kind of lobbies, just go ahead and leave. I will be leaving in today's video because the score is still accumulated. So I have a, I won't lose the score. It just means I'll have a better chance of getting a bot lobby and being in this kind of lobby on my own. Now, I typically don't try to complete the pass too fast. But like I said, guys, I really want to focus on trying to get the end of season chest as much as I can because of how many rewards you can actually earn from it. Yeah, this person is definitely not happy. Now, hopefully you guys did take the time to complete the free-to-play event where it gave you this weapon. If you don't have something like Triple Bite, if you don't have like that Overseer weapon, this is like 
your next best alternative to use because it heals you. Any weapon that heals you, in my opinion, is a is a dub. It's a bit it's a win win situation. Um, but yeah, I, I like the the this has been a method for a very long time. It's just not something I really talk about in my videos. Let's go. And I'll probably title it something a little bit different because <laughs> I'm not going to title it how to get bot lobbies because you know Pixagun will be out here trying to fix that. Um, I'll probably title it like the best way to c complete 90,000 score or something like that. So we're about to head under one minute here. I'm going to let Mr. Hello have this win in this lobby because I'm going to leave. I'll leave around about 45 seconds just so I can get as much score as possible here. But I think you get more score if you get like consecutive kills too. So... Yeah, just take full advantage. Now, at the start of a season, this is horrible. Everyone's doing the exact same thing. So at the start of a brand new season, I would probably recommend not trying to do this. This is probably something I would recommend towards the end of a season or like the last 20 days. So we go ahead and quit. We're now going to go back into knife party. And if this has worked correctly, sometimes it can take you one or two tries. We should have now a bot lobby to ourselves. And it should technically restart. Okay, so again, sometimes it doesn't happen perfectly all the time. Let's just try again. Okay, so we just waited under one minute. I'm going to activate this because, again, I'm com confident most of the players that will join this game are going to be bots. And even if they're not bots, for a good, like, at least a minute or two, they are usually bots. So you can get all your score as fast as possible really early on really early on keep an eye on the names like you guys will probably be familiar with the bot names by now see them in every single map and the reason why this happens is because pixagon 3d is not popular anymore there's not enough people playing this game so to keep players still playing their game they feed you bot lobbies but i want to show you guys one more thing at the end of this lobby so just focus on getting as much score as you can i've been getting roughly like Three to five thousand every single game and this is doable every single time just leave under one minute let's just kind of finish this and see how much we end up on so on this occasion i think i got around about 50 kills 69 kills 3,000 score now this is where it's most important right most important here is that once you get to this screen do not hit go to battle because what it will try and do is put you in a new lobby with players at the top it says time to start and it's counting down what you want to do is let it count down on its own and you will end up with a bot lobby once again exact same players some although what i will say is you have more chance of players joining on the second time now after this has happened for a second time it, you can't do it again i believe and you will have to do the cycle again of like playing a lobby wait until you get under one minute and then you can go ahead and take full advantage so if you want to do the deathmatch score and you want to do it really fast this this is the way you guys have got to do it i'm going to play this game one more time i think we probably would have completed the challenge that was needed so really easy to do um i don't think this needs to be a kept secret from the community this is just the flaw in pixagun 3d that the developers have never actually fully addressed are we surprised I don't think so. So on this occasion, I did end up with a player in my game, but I was way in the lead by the time they got in here. So it was kind of irrelevant for them to try and take the win. Also, if you do need to do the wins challenge, this will also be applied as well. So yeah, like if you got to get kills, if you got to get wins, it's so easy to do. You can see how much score we're getting just from this. If I was to go to my pixel pass now, that is now done. Not a problem at all. Really simple to do. At this point, all I need to do is get to level 69. While we are in the process of waiting for the pass to just tick over to the next set of challenges, I want to go ahead and spin these. I have five spins to do here. I want to see what we're going to get. It doesn't really matter with this one. This is probably, probably my least favorite one that they've got available, but everything is free inside of here. I think the more you spin, the better chances you have of getting good things. I'm not necessarily interested in the weapons. I'm after keys. I'm after coupons. I'm after things that are quite difficult to obtain in Pixelgun 3D. I guess we'll take the boosters from now and then. Uh, but from this one, it's not amazing. It's only a limited time. They keep bringing this back to keep players occupied. 20 gems. I was hoping for some keys. Low key. But you can see how bad this one is. But the next one's not bad. The path to triumph is good. We managed to get ourselves 10 passes. It means nothing for us here. I think they're just legendary weapons, though, if I remember correctly. So now we have this. 
I've got this. Again, for my pixel pass. I'll take the boosters. We do have ourselves a chest. And I think one of the most important things as a free-to-play player right now is the module situation. I am in a clan, and we will do some clan spin chests. Chest spins, I think, is the best way to say that. Fighter. Do we get two of these? Wait, how many did I get? I think I'm close to getting the garbage rifle, too, by the way. Oh, it gives you two of them. Actually, didn't even realize. Two more games. Okay, so next, let's have a quick look at my module situation. Anything need upgrading? Not right now. That's okay. Let's go back to the event center and let's do 60 lucky board spins. Still don't have the orange killer. 50 gems, 370 of the coins. I think we did get a bunch of modules there, though. We'll definitely take that. 300 of these. And this is where I take full advantage of the gem situation, as always. Come on. They did make it harder to complete, though. Got this one. I think I've got two more we can do here. One more to go. 20 of them is done. So, so many rewards that we can uh, claim. And then we go inside of here. I'm going to do the 50s. We've been sticking to the 50s the whole entire time. It's kind of sad, though. If the lucky... Uh, sorry. If the lottery was a little bit longer, I would actually probably... Because we've been so much doing so much grinding, probably get a free super chest. But I don't know... How much you have to grind in order to get a free uh, super chest. It's not very easy to get, but we'll take the gems. These are just things I've saved from doing the, the hub. But yeah, you can see how difficult it is to get a super chest as a free-to-play player. So I was waiting for the challenges to change because I was hoping we'd get duplicates, but we didn't. Deathmatch, we need to get 15 kills with legendaries and win two matches with no armor. Like I said, if you're doing that one... Do it in block crash. Does anybody know if we all get the same challenges on the same days? Like, do you guys have to do the same challenge as me on this day? I'm just generally curious. Let's see how we get on here. Bro, we're struggling a little bit. One is down. We do have another pixel color refresher in here. Usually the people with the pixel color refreshers are the ones trying to get the challenges complete to get the win. Now, mine doesn't do as much damage as theirs. Because it's a little bit lower. The level. There's still three of us in here. There is. Still three of us in here, bro. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Let's go. That was awesome clutch. That was an awesome clutch right there. Not dead. Gotta catch him off guard. Gotta catch him off guard. Woo! Gotta make sure he doesn't also get me. He's using the Royal Ashbringer, I think it is. I haven't seen someone use that for, for, for rocket jumping in a long time. Quite some time, actually. Come on, brother. Okay, I'm going to try and not get caught out by him. <laughs> Come on. I just need one more win, guys. That's all we need here. Finally. There we go. That's all I needed. Patiently waiting. Okay. So that's done. Easiest challenge to get complete. You get that quite a lot in a season. As for the legendary kills, I don't think it really matters what you use. I like to use this heavy... Just because, well, it's like a homing missile. It's going to follow players. How did that perfect module combination miss him, by the way? The only sad thing about this is you don't get a lot of bullets in it. But if somebody rocks up towards you, they go and die. Just quickly shoot and reload this. I need my health back. Sadly, no one walked into it. So I guess I'm relying on this a little bit here. Hit him once. Got one. Somehow, I don't know who I killed. But we, we managed to kill somebody there. Come on. Come on, bro. I see you right there. How has that not chased you down? How did that not hunt him down? You do not get very much bullets with this. There you go. Thank you. This is... The, the sniper is probably the best... The best weapon I got. We got it for free. Earlier on this uh, this year. Duke is down. Gonna kill somebody at least. Honestly, playing this is also getting me deathmatch score. So dead. Should be convincingly done in one game, too. Oh. Nazi bro chilling there. Hit him once. There we go. Put that back down, Echo. Chase him. Oh, we got the assist with that one, I think. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There's also a couple other heavies that we did get that were legendary, too. That I could have used. Come on. Hit him once. Nuke it, Echo. Nuke it. I only wanted to complete this season mainly for the gadget. Because they never ever come back. They're kind of such a rarity to have. Oh. There he is. He's dead. One more. I have had a good few new kills in this one though. He's dead. 
Guy behind. Hit him once. Gotta get him. Surely, there you go. Straight down that corridor, Echo. Five more bullets. Let's put these here. Hopefully, they'll hunt somebody down. Gotta get him. There we go. Nuke is out. I did see some bullets here. Bro is not happy with me, though, is he? I'm sorry, buddy. I am sorry about you. Go again. Straight down that corridor. It's all about getting this pass complete. Maybe not today, but we will complete as much as we possibly can. Yeah, there's no way I've not done this challenge, right? 22 kills. I reckon at least 15 of them have to have been done with legendary weapons. Oh, I'm sorry about you, man. Reload. Oh. Got me with it. Perfect. Sorry, dude. I'm going to nuke again. Anybody else going to fall into the trap if they can? Bro is still shooting me. <laughs> Chase him. He's full health. He's not going to die from that, is he? You are, though. Now he is. Bro did not expect me to turn up right there, though, did he? Peek, 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 peek. Whew. I still got it on this map, guys. Even if it's a free-to-play and I don't have super high-level modules, we still got it. Come on. On it, man. Try this. Positive or negative? It's negative. I kind of counteract this a little bit, though, because I can just use my shotgun and kind of heal myself if I get in trouble. And, bro... Here we go. A nuke in there this time. Oh, just turned up out of nowhere. Uh, how have I not... Oh, you stole that from me, bro. Come on. But that challenge should now be done anyway. Chasing him. Constantly chasing brother there. I don't think that's going to register, but... Still, 30 kills. Top of the board. We take the win. Bunch of XP to hopefully help me level up as much as possible here. Keys, coins, you name it. We need the coins for the challenges anyway. But let's take... Wait, what's this one? Okay, so yeah, we needed to get to defeat them. Let's claim that. For the pixel pass. Let's go back to my pixel pass and claim all of these challenges. I think we're going to be a little bit shy of completing the pass here. Because it does get a lot harder. So it's going to take me a couple more days to get this done. But we've got plenty of time to do this. And hopefully we can get towards level 60. Come on, 58. And then the deathmatch one was not worth a lot, I don't think. Bro, look at that. I just got to do like one more Scarab Temple and then it's going to offer me more. I think I'll save that though. Because we're not going to complete it in today's video anyway. Let's get all of these claimed and see if it gives me anything decent. Let's try and get something decent. I was going to save my lottery chests the next lottery but i kind of really like the one we have now 100 gems bro yo you do not get that on offer very often we've taken those all right let's see fighter chest we've opened so many of these this pixel pass season okay that's not bad that's the retro like backup right hyper uzi okay so we've got this we've got the funky looking froggo this yo let's see let's see if the cosmetics chest is going to be kind again no, I think on this... No, it's the pet's chest, not the cosmetics one. We are 100% getting a pet. Okay, I guess I'll take you. Take you. And then we've got a cosmetics. We did get some chest... Uh, coins in this one. Gems in this one, sorry. This one is giving me a trail. I think I got lucky once. It's not going to happen again. What's next? Coin, gems. Bro, today turned out to be really, really, really good. We did apparently do another one of these, which is the coins challenge. Now, I did get modules, did I not? Did I not get a bunch of modules? I did, but not enough to upgrade anything at all. We got quite a bit of silver. Let's see where this ends up real quick. We want to get as many module parts as possible. You guys told me to do three at a time and then kind of not worry about it. So, we'll do this. Come on. Epic chests. Give me something that we're using right now. That is going to be for the melee. Magic modules for the melee. Okay. I think we have enough to upgrade that as well. Okay. We'll do one more. You guys say three is enough and then avoid it. Obviously, I would like to get the Crystal Division weapons, but they, they certainly haven't been my main concern. And we got the same again. Uh, I, I guess. Not really what I wanted. There is better ones in there that I could probably do with. 4,000. I'm going to avoid that. Let's do three of the rare chests. I need... I need the Crystal Division weapons, but I also need the gadgets. I like the X-Ray goggles. 
like for a fact. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get it. Let's just see. Come on, what do you give me next? The backup. I think it gives you in a specific order. These are the ice wyvern. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while. I don't think we're gonna focus too much on them. And then we've got this one. Uh, we, there should be a gadget one, right? Is there not? Where's the gadget one? I think it's inside of here. Because I really want the gadgets. Epic chest is providing me with... Okay. That's the gem. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all, but... I'm, I'm way off completing these. But let's end by upgrading my modules. We've got them all, I think, at level 5 now. Pretty much. Uh... Honestly, this is where things get so much harder. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please be sure to hit that like button. The plan is to see how far we can get by the end of the year. Hopefully, it will be level 65. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments.